क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन से इज अ बॉडी ऑफ मास वन के जी बिगिन टू मूव अंडर द एक्शन ऑफ अ टाइम डिपेंडेंट फोर्स एफ फिजिकल टू टू आई कैप प्लस फोर टी जे कैप न्यूटन वे आई कैप एंड जे कैप आर यूनिट फैक्टर्स अलॉन्ग एक्स एंड वाई एक्सिस द पावर डेवलप्ड बाई फोर्स एट टी इजिकल टू टू सेकेंड इज डे स्टूडेंट्स सिंस फोर्स बाय मास इज द एक्सेलरेशन वी कैन फाइंड आउट द एक्सेलरेशन विच विल बी इक्वल टू टू आई कैप प्लस फोर टी जे कैप एज द मास इज गिवन टू बी इक्वल टू वन Now, dear students, as the particle starts its motion from rest, as it is given in the question, we can write down the final velocity to be equal to a d t, that is integral of a d t from zero till two, that will be equal to two t i cap plus two t square j cap from zero till two, that will be four i cap plus eight. J cap. Now, dear students, in this particular question, at t is equal to two, the force would be equal to two i cap plus eight j cap. The power can be written to be equal to the dot product of force and velocity, which will be equal to eight plus sixty four, that is seventy two watt. And hence, option number three is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number twenty two. Question number twenty-two says: On a frictionless horizontal surface, a ball of mass m moving with speed v collides elastically with another ball of equal mass m, which is initially at rest. After collision, the first ball moves at an angle thirty degree to its initial direction. The kinetic energy of the second ball after the collision is. Dear students, in this question, we have to use the fact that an elastic oblique collision of two identical masses. in a case when one of the masses is initially at rest the final velocities of the masses are at an angle 90 degree with each other now dear students if the initial velocity of the mass is v vector and the final velocities of the masses are v1 vector and v2 vector we can write that mv vector is equal to mv1 vector plus mv2 vector that is from the conservation momentum which means that v1 vector Plus v2 vector is equal to v vector. Here v1 is the velocity of the striking mass and v2 is the velocity of the target mass. From this expression, we can see that the addition of v1 and v2 is equal to v. If we draw the vectors as per the triangle of vector addition, we can draw that v would be equal to v1 vector plus v2 vector. The angle between v1 and v2 would be 90 degree. And this angle is given as 30 degree. We can see that v2 would be equal to v sine 30 or v by 2. And therefore, the kinetic energy of the second ball should be half m v2 square, which should be half m v by 2 square. That is m v square by 8. And hence, the correct answer for this question is option number four. Now, let us proceed to the question number 23. Question number twenty-three says a body of mass two kg is acted upon by a force which causes a displacement s given by the relation s is equal to one by three t q, where t is in seconds and s is in meters. The work done by force in first two second is. Dear students, we can find out the velocity or the speed of the particle from the differentiation of s, which will be equal to t square. At t is equal to zero, the value of v is zero. And at t is equal to two, the value of v is two square, that is four meter per second. Therefore, initial dear students, kinetic energy is equal to zero, and the final kinetic energy from the value half m v square is equal to half into two into four square, that is sixteen joules. Therefore, the difference of kinetic energy would be equal to sixteen joule only. And from the work energy theorem, the work done on a body is equal to the change in its kinetic energy, and hence the option number three for this question is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number twenty-four. Question number twenty-four says that the potential energy of an idle spring when it is stretched by two centimeter from its natural length is u. The change in potential energy when it is stretched further by four centimeter is. So, the students, it is given that half k. Two square is equal to u. We have to find out the value of half k. Two plus four square minus two square. 
that is the change in potential energy on stretching the spring further by 4 centimeters. This will be equal to half into k into 6 square minus 2 square which will be equal to 16k. Yes, students, u can also be written to be equal to 2k. We can easily see that if is u dash, then u dash is equal to a times u. And hence for this question, option number 4 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number 25. Question number 25 is a theoretical question and it says that the potential energy of a system decreases if first option conservative forces do positive work on it, second option conservative forces do negative work on the system, third option conservative forces do no work on the system. Dear students, since the work done by conservative forces is negative of change of potential energy, if work done by conservative force is positive, then the change in potential energy would be negative, which means that the potential energy would decrease. And therefore, the potential energy decreases when a positive work is done by the conservative forces. Therefore, option number one is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number 26. Mm -hmm. 